Hi guys, welcome back to Goodly. Now a lot of people ask me that when we have all of these Excel formulas and pivot tables, why do we actually need DAX in Power BI to be able to solve, you know, the analytical questions? Now I do answer that question a lot, but instead of answering that question today, I am going to give you three questions and I want you to solve these three questions using Excel formulas. Now you be the Excel person, I'm going to be the DAX guy. You solve these questions using Excel formulas or pivot tables, whatever you fancy, and I'm going to solve these questions using DAX. And by the end of the exercise, you will get to know that why is DAX a lot, lot, lot better than writing Excel formulas or Excel, you know, pivot tables that we have been working on in a conventional way until now. So without wasting any time, let's just go take a look at the questions as to what do we have to do. All right. So I'm in a very simple Excel file here, which contains the data and the questions that you have to solve. So why don't we take a look at the data? Then I will take you through the questions that you have to solve. So on the first sheet here, we have the sales information. This is the sales order number the order date when the product was ordered, the ship date when the product is shipped, the product ID, which product was ordered. We have the quantity, how many products were ordered, the units, and then of course we have the unit price. And of course you understand that the, if you multiply the quantity into the price, you will get the total sales value of that particular order number. Now let's just take a look at the products table, which is on the second sheet. In the products table, we have the unique product ID. The no product ID is duplicated. So this is the unique product ID table and we have the product name and the category. Now, this is where you can write a VLOOKUP in case you want to do that in Excel using VLOOKUP formulas. In case you want to fetch any information from the products table, you can write a VLOOKUP between the sales table and the products table using the product ID. <laughs> that was it uh, about the data. Let's just take a look at the questions that we have to solve. So there are just three questions that you have to solve, not many, right? And the questions are actually simple. The first question is that how many unique bikes were sold uh, each month with price greater than a thousand dollars. So this is what you have to do. So you have to come to the sales table and you have to find out how many unique bikes were sold, but there is no information about bikes here. You have the product ID, but you can fetch the category of the product from the products table. So from, you can go here and fetch the category. Is it a bike? Is it a clothing? Is it an accessory? What is it? And that you have to kind of go up, go back and take a look how many unique bikes were sold. So the same bike could have been sold multiple number of times in the same month. You just have to find how many unique bikes were sold, which were above $1,000 uh, every single month. So here is the price. You just have to compare it against that and find out how many unique bikes were sold every single month. All right, take a look at the next question. Um, how many hundred thousand dollar days were there in each and every month? So what you have to do is you have to come back to the sales table, find out the total sales value for every single day. So you will have to actually add all the days here. So find the total sales of 1st January, see if that is above $100,000 or not. If that is above $100,000, then you will mark it as one. And you just have to count how many $100,000 days are there in every single month. All right. I hope that uh, helps you understand that. And the last one. So we have to find total sales and total shipped sales every single month. So in the sales table, what you have to do is you have to find out what is the sales order that all the customers are placing every single month and how much sales are you shipping every single month, right? That's pretty straightforward. And to help you um, kind of validate your answers, I also have prepared an answer sheet and this is how your answers should look like. So once, once you kind of calculate all the answers using Excel formulas or pivot tables or whatever, you can actually come back here to the answer sheet and you can take a look at are your answers right or not. But these are just pictures. So you have to actually calculate these answers on your own. All right, those were the three simple questions that you had to solve using Excel formulas. Please uh, download the Excel file and the data from the link in the description below. That's where you can download the data. Uh, do solve those questions and put your answers in the blog post comments. And I will give a shout out to everybody who participates in this little DAX versus Excel challenge uh, in the next video where I'm going to explain to you uh, the solutions to these questions and obviously explain to you why is DAX a whole lot better as compared to Excel formulas or or pivot tables and that video I'm just going to produce uh, two days from now so just stick around solve these questions download the data and I will see you in two days from now thank you so much and I'll see you soon bye